Guess how many hours of Final Fantasy uh, I played in the past two weeks, according to Steam. Yes way. Many of which was spent uh, grinding the tower. I have played through floors 1 to 20 many times. Hi Tower Fantastico! Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're hope everyone's having a good day. I did all the grinding. <laughs> nine, level 99, everything ready to go. over start up the game let's see what lies beyond floor 20 well I've seen floor 21 before but other than that it's all new get to floor 80 and see the plots at every 10 floors there will be plot a little bit oh yeah yeah 
so... You may have already seen this floor for a bit since I did uh, explore a bit before using a return uh, dealie. I also have a whole lot of ethers and elixirs. Yep. And more money than I can probably use. I'll add it to the collection. The, t <laughs> the main Ten Two collection. I guess technically I could just leave now, but where's the fun in that? It's the elevator's right there. It's a dress sphere. See, I don't. I no longer have any need for them at all. I saw that thing fall past the screen for a sec there. So while I was grinding I noticed uh, if you do things too quickly some things tend to screw up a little. There were a number of times when because I was like I wasn't going like tapping from square to square like this I was just straight running through and uh, I had things uh, spawn and we ended up sharing a square which you normally you can't do that you're not supposed to be able to occupy the same square as a fiend and uh, can't attack it from there Two on a steering. Nope, never mind, they're not facing each other. Ah, the. I'm not sure what the static status effect is called, but the MP times two effect. Luckily, I don't really need to use that much now. I'm not. Uh, don't really need to dig too much, at least now. Um, I am going to need fi some fine secret rooms uh, things. Uh, books. But as I won't really need them until floor 60 so I'm not too worried about it just yet. Let me do some more digging past like floor 40 or something. Like, I'm still gonna look around for them, but I don't, uh... feel the need to an excessive amount of data. Maybe, uh, we should do a little bit per floor. Hmm, not sure. Is it too soon to start collecting them? They just clog up my inventory. Here. 
I think, uh, yeah, you know, just in case, I'll do a little, little digging. Not, uh, not gonna go for all five available items. Here, boy, good boy. And we go. Ooh, I don't need that anymore. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that. <laughs> Or past few days it was uh I'd already gotten the uh um, I'm gonna hold on to that. I'd had already gotten words, come on. Uh I'd already gotten my dress spheres up to ninety-nine. Not uh you and herself, and that one took longer than I expected. I was like, come on, evolutionary water, give it to me. And uh, it just wouldn't give it to me. For this floor. I hope this will do. And uh, let's trim one of these. Bam. Later on, I hope to be able to get um, a fine secret rooms that has more pages in it, but uh, this will do for now. Get you. Don't like that MP skill you got. It's annoying. All right. Next floor. Again, deposited us right next to the elevator. Interesting. I mean, the game is trying to tell me something. It's like, come on, go. Uh, regular ether. Lovely dead end, very nice. that, huh? Pop. 
pile of gold. I don't really need it anymore, but that's not the point. It's fine. Digging. Here, boy, good boy. That's an accessory. Thank you. So early on. I thought uh, about how the agility stat might work in this game, how like uh, maybe once I'd leveled I'd get more turns versus uh, like uh, fiends with low agility. And it took me entirely too long to notice that uh, you don't have an agility stat in this in this game. Or a luck stat for that matter. Um, which one is a wristband? Okay. That's two. Hey <laughs> puppy. D evolving ooze. I was actually thinking about this. I was wondering if <sighs> drinking a, a potion that would lower my level would it also lower my stats back to what they were? Or would it give me room to level again? Get my stats even higher. <laughs> uh what's the rogue game? Like, oh, like a roguelike, or...? They're not high enough. Yeah. What game? Dragon 64. I'm not familiar with this. Is it fun? and such.
Next floor. We're tearing through here. Oh, a store. I don't need you anymore. No, but seriously, I don't. I don't have anything I want to sell. So, bye. Ooh, nice. Oh, so like it's a. Oh, I, I misread that. Yeah, it's a recent one. Um. I did not know uh, you could do that. <laughs> I also, uh, well, hopefully, I don't need you anymore. Restart guide. I suppose there's a chance I will that uh, there's a a more difficult achievement to get with um, starting around floor 60 so hopefully I won't need to restart I'll probably just make a separate save file if anything and just keep retrying it look please Ugh, these things. They're so unpleasant. Ugh! It wants to wiggle its legs every time it skips its turn. Like, no thank you, please. Cool. So they'll actually do a cartridge, though, if you have one. Sounds fun. And to have a gazillion dollars. I mean, if I had a gazillion dollars, I'd buy Sierra from Activision. <laughs> or, well, I think Activision still has it. I don't know when that takes effect. Sphere. Um, I guess I'll do my digging in the next turn. I appreciate that though, that they do the whole thing with the boxes and manuals. I wish I still had all of my oh, game boxes. Ooh. 
Um, that uh, is actually useful, yes. I can use that to copy the... I can use it to copy the Spine Secret Rooms, but it might be use more useful to hold on to it until um, I get a Spine Secret Rooms with more than one page in it. Ah, the cloth map and the trinkets. The feelies, as uh, I, I believe you told me they were called. Yeah, like it's more expensive than uh, it would have been for a similar thing back in the day, but I get it, though. Because there's much lower demand for such a thing. Right. Yeah. A third thing. Okay, let's. Ooh, and that's an elixir too. Uh, taking that. Hmm. Actually. Six, 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 seven. I'll do that in a minute. Just for the sake of- because I want to, uh, yeah, just for the sake of using up a couple of my items, I'm gonna do a little more digging. Just for funsies, we'll get something fun. Excuse me. that your grossness. That's right, my doggies protect me from bugs.
Alright. I have now... I can now drink another item. And, uh, it's not... It's not a waste. <laughs> it's not technically a waste. Is this alright? That's a lot of elixirs. And, uh... Yeah, we could just go. There's a fiend right in that doorway. I can't get a good angle of it, but it's there. Unable to enter the room. Just staring at us. Ah! <laughs> It's, yes, I get that. I've had to get used to that in this game. I'm just like, I've had taken so many elixirs for over nothing. Magic defense is through the roof. Actually, all of my defenses are very high. Also, I noticed that um, the max stat, like the stats, don't max out at 255 in this one. I have discovered a better way to skip a turn than using. Circle select. And that's just stabbing the air in front of me. Another ether. Ooh, gold. It's my favorite enemy. A big pile of gold. Have at you! Are the crab things technically steampunks? God, because there's like some kind of... I don't know, there's supposed to be like nauseous gases coming out of it? Like, what is that? Yeah, uh... Cause, like... It makes you think that it's toxic or something, but it, um... I'm not sure these things give any status effects. Yeah! Just slowly cooking. Sounds like a horrifying existence. Allow me to relieve you of it. <laughs> These beings have communities. <laughs> Just a tidying up. This is uh, yet another ether. I'm just swimming in these now. I think this is the last. Yeah, this is the last room. Sure, let's do some digging and drink that ether. <laughs> Buy my light. 
Oh, I got the wrong one. But hey, look, that's my white mage. Ah! Actually, what, uh. Let's... I think this is. I think she can only cast holy. Yeah. Uh, you can only cast holy if you are playing as white mage uh, main. Each of the dress spheres has a. Uh, each of the dress spheres has an ability that's uh, is exclusive to being main equip. I hope this will do. find secret rooms. It's still just the one page though. I'm looking for something with more, more pages in it please. Yeah, I'll take it but uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to leave the ethers on the floor <laughs> because uh, I need to make another Spot in my inventory. Getting poison. All right, let's uh, yeah, do another one. Do another few for reasons of not wasting. <laughs> it's still kind of a waste. Let's be real. Drinking that premier ether. can pick up the uh go I need at least five clothes don't make the woman Oh yeah, and because I've done so much grinding, my accuracy is now high enough that um, I can just kill the cactuars outright without doing the whole MP thing first. At least the low level ones. Um, they will be appearing later on in the dungeon, I think. Hold still. <laughs> trying to. Don't you understand? I'm trying to kill you. <sighs> Too clever for us not people. Oh, 
Got him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> if you could just leave an outfit and a person to generate inside it. I feel like I've seen something similar to that. I don't know. Attack the darkness. Come on, stop being gross. Get into smiting range, damn it. Uh, you're so gross. I've seen this before where they just won't move forward and you just have to ugh, put up with it. Accept an attack. Like, I don't know if there's some kind of invisible barrier there. I don't know. Or if they're just stubbornly refusing to get into smiting range. What is the condition for this floor? Drop and pick up any two items. Well, drop is the only necessary bar there. Drop two items. Defeat eight enemies. Okay. Shouldn't be hard. Today, I was thinking about Star Trek, as I often do. And, oh, damn, there's too many ethers! Anyway, uh, you, you know how on Star Trek everyone's always listening to classical music? And I was thinking, I was imagining a future where Disney had successfully lobbied to extend copyright indefinitely and the reason that everyone listens to classical music is because that's the only royalty-free music in the Starfleet database. Shipping the rock. Ooh, what was that? These are new. Hello. You die now. Bet those, uh, that ogre thing would pack, pack a wallop. Let's get that first. Ooh. Uh oh. It has berserked me. I think that's what that is? Let's see. These things usually only last a few turns. There we go. Anyway, uh, what items are in here? Weakening poison and ether. It happened again. This is the, this is the thing. Look, see, I can't attack it from here. We are one. What? How did... Some of these barriers that suddenly neutralize... Ne they're... They don't neutralize when they're supposedly... Like, uh... They're supposed to? 
Yeah, that was weird. This is probably a dead end, but no dead end unexplored. Besides, maybe now that we're higher level, we might- oh. I was gonna say maybe there will be floors with more rooms! Um, yeah, bit of digging. Here, boy, good boy. Potion. I wonder what would happen if I drank it even though I... I'm gonna do it. <laughs> even though I'm already maxed. What happens? <laughs> Nothing. I just got a fancy graphic. Mm, level up. <laughs> huh, I actually got five things. Well, yep. Uh, was that turbo we threw over there? I think. Powers of darkness. Hey, you know what? I think I can do just as fine in another uh, dress here. I'm gonna try one of the other ones on. Just for fun. Yeah. Yes. So hot! <laughs> 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 Yes. Yes, excellent. I, I, yes, absolutely, it would be. But also, it squeak, makes squeaky noises. <laughs> Smack. I kind of don't want to let that thing attack me after the berserk. Boom. Alright, I need to put some items down. Okay. That was supposed to do it. Hello? Okay, I'm cross-referencing to 
guides. Um, this other one says throw two items, so let's try that. Honestly. Unfortunately, guides for this are a lot less reliable than uh, for the main game. And also, this is silly. <laughs> the requirements here are silly. There we go! gonna be a moogle now yes <laughs> ooh the picture is new it looks uh that's well, kind of reminiscent of uh, the architecture of Xanarkand it's a bit small so it's hard to make out the details <laughs> Final Fantasy X and X2 archaeological experts. <laughs> uh, the squeaky. This is uh, this is definitely worth it. Either. You know, I remember really scrounging for ether items early on, and now I'm just swimming in the damn things. Fusion Secrets, which I no longer need. Let's see, is that it? No, no, there's another uh, branching off corridor in the previous room. <laughs> ah, this was a good idea. It's making me happy. stuff. Uh, okay. Let's 
silence juice. Kind of wonder why with um, a lot of these items, they came up with all new names instead of uh, <laughs> instead of using the pre-existing ones. Like instead of a uh, silence grenade, you got silence juice. Things like that. Ooh. Oh. It's right there. I kind of feel like coming back for this one. It's not like I need the experience anymore. Ah ha ha ha. After I take care of this thing. There we go. Damn it. That's what I meant to do. It's fine. this little pose while transforming. Kind of reminiscent of the Sailor Moon transformation pose, but like a Moogle. Also interesting is that in uh, some of the status effects work a little different than they do in the main game. Um, I'm thinking specifically of silence, whereas in the main game, silence on only uh, it prevents you from casting magic spells. So black magic, white magic. In last mission, it prevents you from using any abilities at all. Which I found surprising. Alright, so that's uh, four? It's four? No, no, that one in the corner was already there. Three. That's a restart guide. Sure, let's do a couple more. Accessory. The cheerings. Eh, I get a lot of those. Not just from digs, but because they're one of the accessories that my dress sphere combination uh, naturally generates. Um, so 
hot. There's a uh, an ether lying around here, right? I think so. Ugh, now there's two of you. Mm, this one first. I don't like Berserk. Let's just address fear. Ah! Okay. Ooh, hold on. The stress fear has lower accuracy. I'm gonna um I'm gonna switch. Dark Knight was my best. Oh, Thief was my best. But I think uh, Dark Knight will be good. Yes. Powers of Darkness. So we're gonna have Cat Doors here. Okay, these ones are higher level. I am going to chance it because I think I can just hit it. Yes. Okay. You know how I was saying that uh, in the, in this uh, in the last mission, silence prevents you from using any abilities. I bet it wouldn't work the same way if I used it on a on a fiend. <laughs> but there would be magic only for them. All right, if there's gonna be cactuars here, I might want to stick with the. Dark Knight for now. Thanks for the lurk. Hope you're having a good one. Okay. Let's do a little enough digging. Back in a mad digging outfit. Here, boy. Good boy. <laughs> Which game? Antidote to drink. Ah. Kingdom Hearts. That's right, that's what you've been playing. Are you playing through the whole series or just uh 
Whichever game you feel like playing. Just the side games? Yeah, the lore of those games seems very dense to me. An admirable goal. That's seriously, that's cool. You'd already, you've already gotten platinum to the main games. How many side games are there? So I know that I, I seem to recall that the order of those games is not exactly simple. <laughs> kind of a lot. <laughs> uh, was that first one? It was a oh, it was an antidote, I think. All right, that's good enough for this floor. Let's go. I'm also going to want some save memos at some point. The collection has four playable, seven overall counting the mobiles games. Game. Oh, damn it, I forgot about that. Hmm. Is it gonna... There we go. Ooh, multiple spells. Have you played the mobile game at all? Would you stream it? Oh, hello. Useless shop. All those times I needed you. Where were you then? Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, um... Ah, uh, the ephemeral nature of gaming. Things just disappear forever. Also, the pay to win thing sucks too. Good progress. Might even. I mean, we'll definitely make it to floor 30, but at this rate, we might get to 
full 40 tonight. Uh, there are 80. Of course, things are gonna, you know, get more difficult as we go. There's a lot of floors. Not as many as everyone's favorite, the Infinito. So I thought, I'm like, those things up there seem awfully stationary. <laughs> Ultimately doesn't live up to its name. I guess, but... <laughs> when you're doing a first run of the game... Excuse me. First run of the game in particular before uh, you have all that awesome stuff from previous playthroughs, it sure can feel infinite. It is kind of funny that when you're going, um, like it, the, the floors are all numbered, of course, when so you get to 99, but then you get to, you, you get past that floor, the, it's labeled floor infinity. I'm like, hmm, not quite, really. Just pick up. Mentos, the dress makeup. Yeah, that's a turbo ether. I'll probably make use of that with some digging. Yes. Here, boy. Good boy. Actually speaking of the of the infinito, I was just thinking about how much more merciful the uh, the Steam version of that is than the the PlayStation version. Uh, that one increases accuracy. Was a uh, was this turbo or premium ether? Turbo. I can drink that now. Oop. Yeah, let's go. Powers of darkness. Uh, it is there mostly, however, and big. This makes a big difference, but in, um, okay, so the Steam version comes with these, uh, these, uh, key, uh hotkeys, so actually I don't know how this works in, in last mission, but F3, sorry, I'm about to sneeze, is it gonna, gonna go or what? Ugh, I hate that, anyway. Um, so, okay, if you hit F3, you can change your random encounters. So you can set it to uh, extra random encounters, so which is useful when you're grinding. Uh, which is the, uh, sorry, uh, so extra encounters, 
regular encounters or no encounters. Um, in the in the PlayStation version of the game, the only way you can achieve that is by equipment. You can have um, a uh, you can have a piece of equipment that gives you no encounters. You can also have a uh, one that gives you lure for extra encounters. Uh, the no encounters equipment is ineffective in the V Infinito. You, however, the F3 button does still work. So, on the Steam version, you can no encounters the V Infinito. Uh, P PlayStation version, nope. <laughs> Um, yes. Uh, attack the darkness! Yes. It's funny, apparently um, one of the later elevator locks will require me to attack the air a few times. I find that amusing. Ah, I keep doing that. It's not that big of a deal. We'll regenerate in a couple turns. And actually the PlayStation, sorry, the Steam version has other um, keys that can make the game much easier. I don't use them much, but other than the uh, turbo speed thing, which is pretty cool, there's one that will supercharge you so that every turn you start off with uh, full health and stuff. Um, I, I don't use that because it's... Uh, I said too boring for me, but um, you know, it's there. I, I guess it'd be like, um, you know, some people want a story mode for, for a game, so it'd be kind of like that. Like if you don't enjoy the combat, I guess. But actually, even if you use that thing, if you, uh, it's not uh, a guaranteed win, right? It's not, it doesn't make you invulnerable. You can still have your part get your party wiped out. It's still possible to die using that. I did play around with it because I was curious, so I know. And e yes, yes. Look at how far up we've gotten. Look stationary. Save memo. Oh, I might want to hold on to that. A notebook. Hmm. There's some good things in here. Do you have a mellow? Okay. I'll come back for this stuff. Bird. This will be a higher level one. Those things have great accuracy. I hate them. <laughs> nah, they're not the worst. Do however, like my evasion's pretty good and uh, generally don't evade their attacks. These I do not like their gaze ability. Ooh, 300. 
definitely don't need that stuff anymore. Uh. Ah, there it is. There was a red dot over it. I'm like, I could have sworn there was another passage I hadn't gone through. It's because there is a red dot over the passage. Let me in. Thank you. Come on. There we go. like right there. Unavoid- oh, it didn't attack me. Gosh, I'm a little curious. Ah. I was just wondering if later floors would give you higher level dress spheres at all. We'll see. Alright, so we found the elevator. Hold on. I, I, I wish I could zoom the map. Look! It's- we finally got one! It's a floor with four rooms! Four! I was right! The later floors will have more rooms. Or at least potentially. save memo now. I hope I will get more later. Because I'm not going to need them for quite some time. And I've been collecting the find secret room stuff because in general they've been rarer than the save memos, but... Hmm. Maybe I do have too many elixirs and I should just drink one. Hmm. I 
think... Yeah, I think it's a new song every 10 floors, so I think we'll be getting, uh... Well, sort of. It, it's been alternating, I think. New for today. Still just level one stuff. And five items. Okay. Sometimes it's actually easy. Powers of darkness. All right, let's go back for those things I left in the other room. I am going to just waste an elixir. Because <laughs> uh, that's some good shit. I will need... <laughs> Powers of darkness! <laughs> Actually, every time I hear it, I think she's gonna, like, break out into a misfit song or something. I'm gonna waste this elixir. What? What? Watch it happen. It's happening. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna waste some HP first. Let, let's go- let's go use some of my darkness skills. Use some of my powers of darkness. Yeah. Hold on, not, not this room. There's only one thing in here. I'm gonna use it in the room back there. This could be dangerous because it's it's a joke about and if it doesn't kill it, oh man, oh oh no, I might chick I might chicken out. I don't want to I don't want to anger the cactuar and not one hit it. No, oh, chicken it out. Bam. I probably could have one hit it, but I've never used that particular one before, so Ooh, let's let's waste some more shit. This time that was Dark Blade. This time I'm using it's Black Sky. Bam. Yes. Overkill. Obliterate that bird. Dang. What was that? <laughs> it's just as soon as I leave. I like this one though. The other one's overkill, but this one's just like... And again, they... Renamed the ability from the... Base game. Black Sky is the same, but the... Instead of, uh... Uh, black cat door again, and you know what? We've seen it. I think it'll. It's gonna. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. Now it won't be such a waste when I use that. It's still kind of a waste. It's absolutely a waste. I'm going to waste an elixir. <laughs> waste an elixir. Hey, it's 
not the direction I was facing. <laughs> it's not a waste if it makes me happy. Just dropping accessories all over the place. Alright. I missed that message earlier about the uh, $100 to get nothing. Dang. That is... Ugh, the worst. Exploitative. I hate it. Right, floor 30, that means this floor, the barrier is... Drink two potions of any type, but the same type for both. Uh, I might end up having to drink two elixirs. <laughs> oh no. That's bullshit. I hate the barrier things for this. It's... Ugh. I don't like the... Uh, the uh... I don't like that mechanic. I, I wouldn't mind it so much if it was just defeat this many enemies, but it's shit like this. Well, maybe the game will be merciful and will actually have two of the same type of things. on this floor. We'll see. I think it's a little unlikely. Alright. So we know there's an antidote and a, an ether. Oh, by the way, um, these fleeing manuals, I tested them out and I, I thought it, it's uh, supposed to deposit you next to the elevator. So I, try I tested it out as soon as I heard the eerie laughter. I used a fleeing manual and it, I guess it did bring me closer to, to the elevator than I was, but I was expecting to be, you know, right next to the elevator, not just in the same room as it. So a little overrated in my opinion. Oh, so many cactuars. One barrier neutralized. That was the easy one. I'm gonna. It's also possible I might be able to dig up something that will help here. Ah, sweet! Two ethers on the floor. We're saved. I don't. I don't have to waste. Two whole elixirs. Yeah. I'm still gonna do a little digging. Right. Here boy, good boy. Mm. 
Bedtime now. I just realized th floor 30 means there's another treasure chest. I think I'm just going to not take it because I don't want to dump three of my items only to get absolute shit. So far. <laughs> That's what I've been getting. Uh, what was this thing? Bedtime novel. I'm, I'm mad blah. I imagine as I go I will use up some of these elixirs. But for now Like I don't wanna dump three elixirs just to get Ooh look, you got a uh, darkness oil. A gunner level one dress sphere. And ooh, and as soon as south. Mm. be so nice if they let you pick about the chests. Like you open the chest and it shows you what's in it and you can be like, oh cool, yes I will drop some of my items. Or be like, yeah, no thanks. Because most of the time it's the no thanks variety. Mm, I guess that's enough. It's enough digging. All right, now where was that ether? Is that this one? Yes. And the other one was in the first room. And especially the thing about the like the requirement being to drink two of the same type of item. Like what if you just don't have it? I mean maybe I don't know, it maybe it's programmed to to give you two of the same of the same type of item so that it's always possible to progress, but I don't know that. Ta da! to let that cactuar live. So, just, okay, so there'll be, there's gonna be a cutscene now. Um, actually, before I do that, I wanna double check there's nothing I would dump for the treasure. Yeah, I, I don't wanna dump any of this stuff. Um, yeah, no, no. Anyway, so there's gonna be a cutscene. This was the cut... If I, I believe this is going to be the cutscene I was talking about the other week about how there's 
In the original release, it the cutscenes you would get depended on your main game save file and which ending you got, how far you'd progress and all that stuff. So if you get the best ending of the game, you get, you know, the best version of the cutscene, right? And apparently when they they did uh, the uh, remaster version, you don't it's not connected to a save file on the main game at all. It's like a complete separate thing. So they just have one version of cutscenes for everyone who plays it. And for the most part, they were supposed to... It was supposed to be the version of, like, this is canonically, you know, the best ending is the can canon one. And so that's the version of cutscenes you get here. Excuse me. But apparently for one of the... at least one of the scenes, uh, it isn't. And uh, this is going to be... According to the uh, forums, it's floor 30. We're going to get a, the sad version cutscene. So I have a I have a tab open with the translation of um, the the uh, like best the happy ending scene. So I'm going to read that afterwards. All right, here goes. Save and use. Ooh, pretty. I like that a lot. That's so cool. What is it? It's strange, don't you think? We're so far from Besaid, but the sunset looks the same. Hmm. Yeah. The same. Well, I guess you're right. Uh, okay. But even though it looks the same, it actually changes every day. It does? Hmm. It's just something I've been thinking about recently. Hmm. So, you've been staying in Besay? Yeah, she has. She's totally gone back to her life before she joined the Gullwings. That's not true at all. Back then, I was only thinking of someone I had lost. I wanted a change from all that, so I left the island. I'm a different person now. I don't feel like I need to keep busy anymore. I'm fine with staying in one place and taking it easy. That sounds relaxing. I did meet someone. Ooh, did you hear that? Uni's got a guy thing. <laughs> well, come on. Tell us about him. Tell us, tell us, please. What? It's no big deal. Come on, give us something. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> uni! Mm? What? Tell us, Yuna. Oh, sorry. Um, I... Hmm. I... um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so now I get it. That's why you never come when I ask you to. You're not jealous, are you? No, I'm not. Okay, maybe just a little. But if he's back too, why are you just spending all your time on Besaid, Huni? You could go on an airship cruise around the world or something. Maybe someday. I don't want to rush into anything just now. Until you figure out what you want to do, right? No, that's not quite it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I need I to find something. I can't really explain it. But you know what I mean, don't you? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, not in the least. We are all pain. Oh, I don't get it either. 
But I guess you better start thinking about things seriously from now on. Unlike the rest of the time. <laughs> Maybe you're right. You I know. suppose it would be stranger if nothing at all had changed. Never takes anything seriously. Famously. Okay. <laughs> what really threw me was the line where Riku said, if he's back too, why don't you go on a cruise or something? Are they... Because it makes it... It almost sounds like she's talking about Titus there. But then, like, that doesn't follow from the rest of the conversation where Yuna's talking about how she met someone. And again, all that makes sense if you don't get the happy ending where Titus comes back to life. All right, so in okay, in um, I haven't read that uh, translation yet of the uh, the two point five book, other than it's weird and she just dies again and then comes back again. Is time travel involved? It's just all around uh, the the plot summary was really uh, a journey, um, but I did listen to um, Will, which is the like but it's about half an hour, kind of like a um, <laughs> like a radio drama thing that came with the um, the remaster which takes place after 2.5 and uh, uh, Titus and, and Yuna have uh, broken up and Yuna is uh, and it looks like Yuna is seeing someone new it's a little vague but anyway so it makes it sound like th like it's trying to tie this into with the like the, the, the someone new and will but like this is this takes place only three months after the end of of ten two. So if you get the best ending, it is really weird that 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 Titus is already out of the picture, and not even I'm not even sure if he's mentioned. Like like I was saying, Riku's line was um, a little confusing. Anyway, so this is uh, this is a translation of the happiest ending conversation, floor thirty. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna try to do the voices a bit. Uh, I don't should I okay? Should I read? Should I just try to do separate voices for each person? Or should I read the person's name before each line? Um, I just want to make sure it doesn't get confusing. Thoughts? Uh, just read the names? Or... Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Okay, read the names. Okay. Uh, Riku. What? Yuna. Don't you find it magical? I've been away from Besaid too long now. I wonder if he's watching the same sunset. Riku. The same, huh? Yuna. But you know, even though we watch the same things every day, it's with a new perspective. Riku. Is that so? Yuna. It's just that nowadays it hurts to be away from him. 
Riku. Ooh. Pain. So, Yuna, you're still in Besaid? Uh, Riku. Yup, yup. But after a while, I know she'll get tired of it and return to the gull wings. Yuna. That's not going to happen. Those ti those time... Oh, sorry, this is a translation, so... It's a little... Um, that time when he was gone, my life was so mixed up and lonely. But it all changed in that moment when he came flying back to the island. Now I'm so preoccupied with him. I wouldn't leave for the world. We've been so happy and peaceful. I feel as though I want time to stand still for us. Pain. The relaxed, hassle-free life, huh? Uh, Yuna. The Dean is the center of attention right now. Every day there's something to do. Oh, and he's already grown his first tooth. Do they, do they grow in that soon? Three months? Anyway, Riku. Is Daddy as befuddled as ever? You know. <laughs> Lulu was in shock. She wanted to tell him right away. <laughs> right? I I don't know. Like the the radio drama sure didn't make it look good. <laughs> uh Riku. Didn't Waka just see it? Yuna. Well, you know Waka. Riku. So, you haven't been lonely then? Yuna. Well, not since he got here. Riku. I still think you're wasting your time staying on that island and all, though. You're almost 20. You've got to live while you're still young, you know? <laughs> you know, now that I look back on it, I must have looked so clumsy in my impatience to reach him. Pain, have you found everything you were looking for, then? <laughs> Yuna, well, it's not exactly that. I found what I was searching for, but I haven't done everything yet. I can't express what I mean in words, but do you understand? Pain. Sorry. Riku. Well, I don't get it. Yuni, you're not being clear. Things sound like they're gonna get more and more complicated. Yuna. If you say so, I guess. Pain. Well, it would be unnatural if nothing ever changed. Uh, no, it has a. Sorry, hold on. Let me catch up. <laughs> they had to say that she'd found what she was looking for. It would have been a copyright violation. <laughs> Okay, so this section, hold on. It has a section for alternative text and I think, I'm not sure. It's, um, it still seems to be the tide, the, the Titus Alive ending, but it's different. So, um, there's a section of alternative text um, from about like halfway into that conversation. So, pain. The relaxed, hassle free life, huh? Uh, you know. It's because of him. Riku. Ooh, gossip time. Tell us all about him. It sounds serious. What you been doing, hmm? Uh, you know. Doing? What do you mean? Just normal things. Pain. For example. Riku. Yuni? Yuna. What? Pain. <laughs> so... Uh, Yuna. Oh, I'm so sorry. Riku. Uh-huh. How come you've never invited me over, huh? 
Maybe there's a reason you didn't want me to join you. Pain, you jealous? Riku. What gave me away? But I still can't believe how that guy just returned to the island that day. It was so incredible. And the airship almost crashed into him when we flew in. He just jumped off. Yuna. Now that I look back on it, I must have looked so clumsy in my patience to reach him. Etc. Yep, so that's, um... That is the happy ending version. Scene. <laughs> There's translations of other floors here, so I'm like, we'll see. I, I have it open in a tab. Not all of the floors. Actually, wait, hold on. Is it all the floors? No, oh, maybe it is all the floors. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, how so? What have I revealed about myself? <laughs> Honestly, I was just trying to make them distinct enough while also kind of uh, similar to their their um, in-game performance, like recognizable. Anyway, now that we've seen th or listened to my amazing voice acting, let's move on. This tower is getting prettier as we go. Weirdly, it looks less dilapidated the higher we go. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna open this even though it's pointless. I just don't like to leave an open treasure chest. Oh no, my inventory is full. Ah, oh, you get a better look at this cool, cool thing. Ah! Oh, very nice. Ah, oh, the glittering sunset and the waterfall. Beautiful. That was a nice view. Thank you, game. Taking a shower. It's been a while. I've been up here for weeks. Go back in here, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, not no new picture yet. So far, the appearance of this floor is the same as the previous 10, which I think makes sense because the floors 1 through 20 all had the same look. Um, yeah. That is, that is too many 
There's too many eyeballs in one, in one area. Let's so fly eye. Okay. Hopefully I don't get uh, status effect. It's just getting real cramped in here. It's hard to get... Uh, It's almost average. Ooh, clean your ether. Hmm. I'm trying to get... I'm just gonna have to... Oh my god, okay. It's hard to get them within stabbing range when I have this little room to work in. There we go. So I got a premier ether there, basic healing.